Alright, so today's goal, I want to go see... I shouldn't say I want to. I'm gonna go see uh, Power Rangers. Saban's Power Rangers in theaters. Um, I complained a long time about this movie being made after I saw the production and what it was looking like. I'm not going in with the idea, oh, they did this in the show, why didn't they do this in the movie? No. I'm going to go in, I'm going go with a clear mind, I just want to be entertained. I just want to be entertained, I'll be cool with that. Um, I don't want them to stray too far from the source material, but I want them to entertain me, a person who loves Power Rangers, grew up on Power Rangers, knows like the first, let's see, I want to say first six seasons, seven seasons, I know exactly how the storyline went. So, like I said, I'm not. I'm gonna try and go in as someone that's entertained and not someone, not someone uh, who's expecting them to do anything specific. Right, just so you guys know, safety comes first when on the road. I don't care what I'm doing. Safety comes first. So if I gotta focus, I gotta focus on driving. I'm gonna focus on driving. All right? Then it's the air conditioning, and then it's. Then it's talking and recording video. So if you can hear the AC and the clicking of my 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 turner signal, then you hear it. It'll be all right. So a review of Power Rangers. Remember, I'm gonna try my best to keep it spoiler free for the first half, and then in the second half, I'll go ahead and talk in depth about everything. I'll have a thing on screen so you know I'm about to get to spoilers. All right. So let's keep it spoiler free. The movie. Let's talk about the movie. It was, it was interesting. It was an interesting telling of the story. Now it's not completely faithful to uh, Power Rangers, the TV show, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but it does, it does hit the very baseline of the story. Uh, visually, it was appealing. It looked, it looked pretty good. It looked, it looked pretty good. There were some parts where it felt like, okay, they skimped out on the budget a little bit. But for the most part, movie looked good. Unless you were like trying to find things that was like, oh, that wasn't that wasn't so good looking. You're most likely gonna just pass it up. So you don't have to worry about that. The soundtrack, the soundtrack is amazing. The soundtrack is amazing. I'm not gonna tell you what all's in the soundtrack just yet. That's for the second half. So if you wanna, if you wanna know that, you have to stick around for the spoiler part of it. Um, the actors, I believe the actors were all amazing. All the actors did their best. Now I won't say they did their best because that sounds like they didn't do a good job. They all did a good job portraying their character. Not even in the traditional role from the original series. Uh, but their characters, they were trying to present them on the show, or in the movie, excuse me. Uh, so, all in all, I give it a thumbs up. You guys know, for those of you who know me, you know I hate rating systems. But if I have to pick, I give it a thumbs up. Over a thumbs down and sideways. Go see the movie. Go see it, it's worth it. It was a good movie, it was a good movie to sit in and watch and I had a, I had a good time I'll say, I'll say that I smiled. there are several points where I smiled and I laughed there's a lot of comedy in the movie you guys know I love my action movies with a little bit of comedy my comedy movies with a little bit of action uh, y'all ready for some spoilers I'm ready for some spoilers I feel like I talk just enough so I can get into the spoilers all right if you if, if you if you hear you here for the spoilers now this is if you don't want to know if you don't want no spoilers go ahead and cut to cut to this time in the video how about that cut to this time and there won't be any more spoilers. So the plot of the movie, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna break it down very simple. Um, <clears throat> in the past, Zordon of Eltar. Uh, actually, I shouldn't even say of Eltar. I don't think they mentioned Eltar. Eltar is the place where uh, he's from in the TV show. Zordon is helping to protect a Zeo crystal, uh, which is the most powerful crystal in the universe, I believe. Um, he's helping to protect the Zeo Crystal from Rita Repulsa, who is a Power Ranger, but she's gone evil. She's betrayed the rest of the Rangers. There's six of them. Um, I'm gonna, it's red and yellow, and I'm gonna assume the other three colors are black, purple, uh, black, pink, and blue. We only see 
red, yellow, and green on screen. Uh, Rita's the Green Ranger. Uh, Zordon is the Red Ranger. Uh, he's helping to protect it, and in a final, what, a Hail Mary? In a Hail Mary attempt to save the world from Rita getting it and causing destruction. Uh, he, he basically kills both him and her. He basically kills both of them uh, after the yellow has died. After Rita killed the yellow. Uh, wake up to present day where uh, Jason, who will become the Red Ranger, is getting in trouble. Like he, I, I believe him and a friend are doing maybe a senior prank. They, uh, it looked like they're doing a senior, senior prank. Their school mascot is the Bulls. So what they do is they take a ball and they hide it in the locker room. Uh, he's on the football team. They hide it in the football team's locker room. Uh, he gets caught. His friend does it. And he gets sent to detention where he meets up with Billy, who will become the Blue Ranger. And Kim, who will become the Pink Ranger. Uh, Billy, who is a... He's a tech... He's... I guess... I shouldn't say he's a... Uh, Techno, techno, what is it? Technophilia. Uh, he's he's good with gadgets. He's he's a smart guy, and what he does is he sets up Billy's. Um, sorry, he sets up Jason's house arrest alarm or his ankle bracelet, so that he can go wherever he wants any time of day. All right, plot very, very simple resolve there. Uh, they go in in exchange. Uh, Jason goes to help Billy with. Uh, finding something, uh, something that him and his dad used to do when they, when Billy was a lot younger and his dad was alive. Spoilers: his dad's dead. Uh, in the process, he meets up with Kim, uh, who's doing some swimming training, and Trini, who's exploring uh, a mine area. And oh, Trini will become the Yellow Ranger, uh, and Zach, who will become the Black Ranger. Um, they all meet up. And over time, they find the power coins. Their lives are pretty much at risk or in danger because they're trying to escape not only security in an area they're not supposed to be in and uh, a train. They're trying to beat a train. Side note, this is the very first time I've ever seen a train hit a car as the train was trying to cross over the tracks before the train blocks them off. This is the very first time I've ever seen it, and I've never been so in shock in my life. Oh my God, I was not ready for that. I wasn't ready for them to get hit. I, I said, uh, let's see, who was it? Jason said, we gonna make it? Billy says, we're gonna make it. The girls look at uh, Zach and they go, we're not gonna make it. And I'm thinking, yeah, they'll be fine, they're gonna make it. Wrong, that train got hit. Or the car got hit by the train. Oh my God, that was horrible. Moving on. They wake up and find out that they have superpowers thanks to the power coins that they found when they were in the mines. Uh, they, they are a lot stronger than they remember. They have a lot more endurance than they remember. And they're, a lot to, they, they're, enabled, they're, they're able to take a lot more damage than they remember. Okay, so they're basically training. They're training to become, to be the Power Rangers. They have the power, but they have to find the power within them. Uh, to fight Rita in the event that she finds the Zeo Crystal where it is uh, and what she's doing to do so because she's just one person she can't dig into the planet uh, what she's doing is she's gathering all the gold in the area so that she can build Goldar who isn't one of her henchmen Goldar is actually considered a monster in this point uh, he's a huge monster he doesn't have a small form he's just huge all the time um Side note, actually not a side note, we're going to skip ahead. She doesn't know where the Zeo Crystal is, and Billy has an idea of where he can find the Zeo Crystal. Or where the Zeo Crystal can be find, found. He's been doing a lot of research, so he knows, he has an idea of where things are. You know where Zeo, you know where the Zeo Crystal is? And it, as soon as they said it, I thought out loud... I can't believe they've been advertising to us this entire time. Like, like I, it was obvious they were advertising, but I can't believe they've been advertising this entire time. You know where the Zeo Crystal is? In goddamn Krispy Kreme. That's why they had the donuts, the special edition donuts, where you can get one of the five different Rangers colors. The goddamn Zeo Crystal is under Krispy Kreme. So they have to go to, uh, uh, what's her name? 
uh, what's her name needs to dig in crystal under Krispy Kreme to go get the Zeo crystal. I was upset. I can't even lie. I was upset. I was like, I can't believe. I can't believe they did this to us. But I still love me some Krispy Kreme. Now the very end of the movie is very clear what they're setting up, and even from the opening, from the the part where it's Zordon, the Yellow Ranger, and Rita as the Green Ranger, it's very clear that they plan on making sequels because they they have stuff that that makes sense within or that is necessary to Power Ranger canon. They have that throughout the entire movie. Now, like I said, the Zeo Crystal that's actually part of the plot for when they're, they're done with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and they're getting ready to transition to other series. That's when they're getting ready to zero the Zeo Rangers. Um, at the end of the movie, there the kids all have detention. Or I'm sorry, red, red, pink, and blue all have detention every weekend, of course. And. They, they're supposed to be a new person joining their detention group. It's supposed to be Tommy Oliver. For those of you who know, this is the Green Ranger who goes on to become the White Ranger, who goes on to become the Red... Uh, what does he become? Red Turbo? Either... I'm sorry, Red Zeo. And then Red Turbo. And then he becomes the Black Dino Ranger. I don't know. He, 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 needs, he needs to do... Tommy Oliver needs to do other stuff. But... Um, they're very clearly setting up for a sequel where Rita gives Tommy the power coin and he's evil for a while, at least. Uh, the Green Ranger saga, Green, the Green with Envy saga, I should say. They're very clearly setting up for that. And then afterwards, I could see, I could see um, them skipping over the White Ranger because it's weird. It's just weird to have him be the White Ranger. And then maybe going to Zeo, the Zeo Rangers. I don't know, it'd be pretty dope, but it's cool. It'd be pretty cool. So like I said, all in all, I enjoyed the movie. It was good. Uh, I don't regret going to see it. It was dope. It wasn't It wasn't the original It wasn't the original show that it should have been. But it was, it was still, like I said, I went in with no preconceived notions. I went in to just have a good time. Uh, I feel like if I would have, if I would have had preconceived notions, if I would have said, oh, if, if Bulk and Skull aren't in the movie, then I'm going to be upset. Um, if if Ernie is in it, these are characters that people don't even know. Like if you're outside, that that movie was very clearly not made for the super fan that was going in with preconceived notions. So like those minor characters, uh, those minor characters, if you were expecting those minor characters, whether or not they were in, didn't say that. Um, uh, you wouldn't have enjoyed the movie, but it was a good time. It was a good show. And if they make a second one, I'm down. I'm down to see it. I'm down to see it. <sighs> this is a long, this is a long video. This is a long video. Uh.